Welcome back to Geek It Plays Poser Tutorials for Beginners. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to import a model from another program and save it as a file that we can load from our library. And I think we'll also throw some materials on it. So we'll come up here to our file menu and go to import and we're going to imprint import a wavefront obj we're going to turn off all of these fi uh, options as we've already optimized the thing that we're going to import for poser and we're going to import from our geometries folder in our runtime that way uh, poser will know how to save out the prop file that we're going to create properly. We're going to go into Geek at Play, Asian Pack, and actually this should be named Pagoda. We're going to select Pagoda. And this is an, a new file, a new model that can be purchased at the Geek at Play content store. It's a Japanese pagoda to go with our Japanese pack. A Asian pagoda to go with our Asian pack. Alright, so we have it right there and we're going to apply some materials to it. So we're going to go into the material room and we're actually going to fix this window a little bit. We'll just go into the simple materials. First thing we're going to do we're going to select this material which is the roof tiles and what we're going to do is we're going to apply a map to it and I already have some maps for it so I'm just going to come in here to our maps which should be So we're going to go into our Geek at Play Asian Pack folder and this is the diffuse map that we're applying this to so we're going to select and if you notice also that there's a one right here that means it's the first template and so we're going to choose the template one of Pagoda and the D signifies it's the diffuse map alright and so this gives you a little texture preview and we're going to go ahead and hit OK and there you go you have your first material applied actually let's, uh, let's make this window a little bit smaller scoot it over and actually we can we can just go back into our pose room to look at the material more closely it's a pretty nice material alright so we're going to go back in and apply the rest of our materials and actually we're going to select those roof tiles again and we're going to we're actually going to add a bump map so we'll go down here and click our bump and we'll look and it'll go to that same folder that you were previously in and we're going to select again it's template one it's the pagoda and it's the bump map signified by the capital B there at the end. Alright, and we're going to actually take this back into the pose room and take a look at our texture. See how it renders out with the default bump um, amount assigned and actually that's really small so we're gonna we're gonna zoom in real close let's re-render
let's turn it up just a little bit. And we gotta go back to our roof tiles. I wanna turn it up to let's just drag the slider. Actually that's way too much. Maybe we'll double it. Go back in and we're gonna render again. Let's go back to our pose room so we can see it closer. Mm. Let's re-render. It's a lot of hurry up and wait here. So that's got some really nice bumping now. It may be a little too strong up close right here, but when you when you scoot the camera back a little bit, you it'll 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 just mesh real well. So we're going to go back into our material room, and actually we're going to apply this material to all the other. Um, all the other template one materials. So we're going to actually go into the advanced tab. We're going to copy that. Copy. Actually, let's make sure we have all of them. We're going to go copy. And then we're going to select the other pieces of the roof template. Or the, not the roof template, but template one. And this one needs it. It's template one, so we're going to go hit paste. And there we go. That's automatically applied. And we can actually adjust the bump map for each individual one, which we may need to do. We're not going to do it right now, though. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go back into our advanced tab. We've already had it copied. So we're going to go to our next one, which should be roof spl uh, spines. We're going to hit right click on the poser surface and hit paste. And there we go. And now we've applied the material to all of our template one materials. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply our materials to the template two materials. So we're going to go back into simple. We're going to select a map and we're going to choose pagoda or the pagoda template 2, the diffuse map. I'm going to hit OK and there that applies it to the diffuse. We're going to actually change that diffuse color to white so that it's not affecting uh, the color of the map. And actually we should probably go back and do the same thing for these. It's always a good idea if you have a diffuse map on to have your diffuse color as white, otherwise it affects, it's like overlaying that color on top of your map, and we don't want to do that, so, so we're going to go ahead and take those off. Alright, so we're going to go back to our pinnacle, and we're going to choose a bump map, and we're going to use, again, template 2, uh, the bump map of Pagoda. Oops. And we're going to bump that up twice as much like we did the other one. And we can adjust that as need be. We're going to go into advanced, select all these, select all the attached maps, and copy. And then we're going to select our other. Uh, template to materials and you can either do that by clicking this menu or you can come in here and try to find it. It's a little bit simpler to just try to to just come up here and click it in the menu as you know what it's called. It's template 2. And we're going to go back in and do it to 
this one. And we're just going to go in and do it to all of template 2. And again, all you do is right click on Poser Surface and hit Paste after, after you've uh, copied your settings. Another way you could do it is hitting Apply to All. But as we are not applying the same map to all of them, we don't necessarily want to do that. But if you had a lot, like I probably should have started with, uh, probably should have started with template two, as there's so many, and just applied all those to that. And then you can modify the the maps as need be. So it looks like we have all of our maps applied to template two. Now we're going to apply our maps to template three or temp template one actually. Actually it looks like this got named for the wrong template. We're going to actually apply that last we're going to apply template 2 to that one as it is the correct template. But we'll correct that uh, and when you buy it on the store it won't be like that. So we're going to go into we're going to go into template 3 And first we're going to do the ceiling. We're going to change the diffuse color to white. Apply a map. Again, it's template 3, the diffuse map. And we're going to choose a bump map. Again, capital B for bump. And we're going to double it again approximately. Now we're going to go back into advance, select all those, right click, copy, go to the next number three, right click, paste, and the next number three, click, right click, paste, and there we go. And our model is textured and it's ready to play with. You can insert your characters in there and have a good old time making your scene. We're going to render it out to make sure everything's hunky-dory. Now it's a little too shiny in some areas and not shiny enough. No, I think it's shiny enough in all the areas. It's just a little too shiny in some areas. And we can adjust that as need be, but um, we're going we're gonna to leave that to you to fiddle around get get your settings just right uh, when you purchase it on the store everything will be just perfect it'll, it'll uh, look as you would expect it to all the shines will be correct and so by the time you apply your, all your materials uh, your pagoda should look something like this so we're going to go back into our preview window and we're actually going to go up here to our we're actually going to come over here and we're going to save this as a prop so we'll come in and we'll create a new folder actually I think we have a folder here that'll work for us I think I called it We're going to create a new folder. Select a subset. And we're going to select only the pagoda. And 
and we're going to save it as Pagoda. And see now what we can do, now that it's saved to our library, we can delete that out. Actually, we can go to a new scene. And we don't need to save our changes. We've got this figure in our scene. And we can just double click our pagoda and load it straight in. That's kind of nice, huh? And you may need to scale your pagoda to size. So what you can do is you can come in here to your scale, shrink it down a little bit, and then we can hit Control D to drop it to floor. Another another way to save this out, say you want to save it out to another program. We're going to go ahead and delete our figure there. We're going to hit export and we can save it out to 3D Studio Max. And it's a single frame, so we're going to hit OK. And we're going to select just the Pagoda. And we're going to export. We're going to export it as is with none of the checkboxes selected. We're going to save it just to our desktop. We're going to save this to our desktop and call it Pagoda for Max. So that's the way that you can import models, uh, apply textures, and save them to your library, and then also save them out for other programs. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studios. Be sure to visit us on the web at posertutorials.net for more upcoming videos. I'm Geek at Large, Jared Buchanan. Thank you.